Okay, uh, I'm on a straight road now, so we're going to try again uh, autopilot and engage it now. And we're going to see uh, how long it takes for the first warning to come up. So, um, we're going on a straight road. Uh, we tried this on a curved highway, and it was... Uh, less than three minutes and uh, the second one was definitely less than six minutes it was almost five minutes and uh, both warnings came on sort of a curved section of the road so this time we're on a dead straight highway again uh, not touching the steering wheel or the pedals I will sort of hold my hand close Autopilot does ask you to uh, hold the wheel, but I will not be steering. And I'm reasonably confident that this time we should see um, a warning at three minutes and then another warning at uh, six minutes. So we'll see how this goes. A little bit of a turn here, but I don't think this is big enough to cause the warning. We're two minutes in. Could also be affected by the speed or the traffic, the amount of traffic around you. Uh, I'm really not sure. I'm trying to figure this out. When and why it asks you to uh, acknowledge you're uh, alive. A little bit of an odd steering there, but it recovered. Two minutes and 30 seconds. So it's usually around three minutes that you get the first warning. Let's keep an eye on it. It should come in pretty soon. change lanes. Let's just stay in this lane. And we should be getting close to our warning. There it is. Now, it did occur right near an exit, so I don't know whether that caused it or not. <laughs> that was right around three minutes. It's pretty funny. Uh, this time, let's see if it occurs. Uh, there, we lost the right side, but it recovered. Hopefully this next time, uh, you know what, we'll get in the middle lane now to see if um, this time it's affected uh, or it warns me at the uh, three, uh, six minute mark. We should be about two minutes out. speed it up here just so you don't have to wait. Okay, we're approaching the six minute mark, 15 minutes, uh, 15 seconds out. Let's see if it uh, warns us at the six minute mark. theory is not correct. Or my hypothesis is not correct. I had a comment that theories are proven. Hypotheses are... There it is. So that was at the six and a half minute mark. Let's wiggle it. 
maybe uh, conditions didn't warrant it, so it extended a little bit. Well, uh, there was a car cutting in front of us, picked it up, slowed down. So we'll uh, stay with this and see when our next warning is. We'll probably speed up the video here because it's going to be boring. It's probably going to take uh, four or five more minutes. Uh, so maybe at the uh, 11 minute mark, I suspect. go we got it at the 10 minute mark so I'm gonna change lanes here and I'm curious so we did three minutes six and a half minutes and then ten minutes so it's roughly three minutes three and a half more minutes three and a half more minutes roughly three, three and a half minutes in between each warning. If this holds, our next one should be at uh, 13 or 14 minutes. We'll see how we do. We do have some curves coming up, so uh, I don't know whether that will affect it. We'll see. Here we have some curves coming up. I'm curious if this is going to uh, cause it to warn us. So I'm going to watch it closely and look closer here. Yep, definitely engaged it. Uh, probably earlier than it would if we would have just been on a straight road. So I guess the driving conditions plus some type of general timer must be used to uh, affect uh, the timing here. Thanks everyone. Um, please don't forget to subscribe.